What's up, friends? How's it going? Thank you for joining me in my sleepover. This is where I sleep. I sleep just here in the living room. Um, the world has gone crazy and everything is terrible. And um, I don't really know how we're going to make it. But we're going to have a sleepover and have a pajama party. And that's going to do something for us. I've got my stuffed bear. I've got some warm milk. Mm, it's so warm. And I'm going to sing you some songs. There are a couple things going on just real quick before we start. One is that um, I have a new EP that's come out on Spotify and iHeartRadio or I don't know, wherever anything that you can listen to music is sold. It's called Hush and it's, a, it's an album of lullabies. So that's partially why I'm here in my pajamas. Uh, talking to you right now. By the way, Marks and Spencers from England, right? With the stripes, very slimming. Um, and the other thing is that I'm trying to raise some money for a fund that we've started at the University of Alabama for graduate students right now who are in a really tenuous place. I can remember being a graduate student not being able to afford food on a good day. And now here we are in the middle of the coronavirus and things are really difficult for them. So uh, just like last time, if you donate some money to me, uh, it's a Venmo, it's a PayPal, it's the same uh, exact name. It's a cranky prof with an A and a C and a P that's capitalized, although I don't think that matters. Uh, whatever you give to me, I'll match and then send on to that fund so that the graduate students can uh, have that money to go and buy groceries or to get some food delivered. It's a really just difficult time and probably the most vulnerable of everybody right here in the University of Alabama, the graduate students. So please, if you feel uh, like you think I'm doing a good job or you want to give me some money, you want to tip me, I'm not going to keep any of it. I'm going to match it and I'm going to give it uh, to the graduate students. So please, uh, if you feel uh, so inclined to do that, um, that would be awesome. Okay, let's have a, let's have a slumber party. Let's, um, let's braid each other's hair and, and, and tell ghost stories and put our underwear in the freezer and uh, put our hands in warm water when we go to, I wasn't, I didn't go to a lot of sleepovers. I wasn't invited. I know that's hard for you to believe, right? Uh, I'm going to sing you some songs. A um, couple new songs. Actually, a lot of them are new and I hope you like them. And if you do, uh, again, see if you might want to donate. Here's a, this first song is called uh, That's My Time. And my second career was always comedy, uh, but I mean, I think being a teacher is a lot like being a stand-up comic. So here's a song about me uh, uh, trying to pursue that dream a little bit. They say life is a comedy for those who think, but it's a tragedy for those who drink at least. I think that's how it goes But I could never make you laugh Forget the premise or I talk too fast I was never any good at telling jokes But I'm working on something Counting routine Make you smile and I believe that this is how it goes. So a guy walks into a bar, that's all I got so far. Why am I always your punchline? And knock knock who's there? It's only me and you don't care. Thank you folks, that's my time. Bye. 
too far That's all I got so far Cause I'm not gonna be your punchline Knock, knock, who's there? I'm on my own and I don't care Thank you folks, that's my time is a tragedy drive you to drink I gotta laugh every time I think how I almost fell for you more of a hee hee funny song than a ha ha funny song but still comedy is in the eye of the beholder I, I, I think that's probably the way that goes. Oh, I'm so glad you're here having a, a lovely pajama party with me. Thank you so much, everybody, for checking in. Again, uh, check out Spotify, check out iHeartRadio, check out all those. iHeartRadio is a thing. It's something. There's something called Deezer. I'm on that as well. I'm also on iTunes. Hey, another thing, if you end up buying these records on iTunes, I get money that I will then match and also give to the Graduate Student Fund. So if you don't feel like you just want to tip me for whatever reason, you can also buy my stuff and you're still going to be donating to graduate students. Or you can just turn this off and donate to the graduate students too. But I'm, I'm, so, I'm so happy you're here. The, the last time, when last we met our hero, um, John Prine was in a hospital uh, and we were really hoping he was going to be able to recover from the coronavirus and then he didn't. And uh, that's been a really difficult uh, time for everybody that loves uh, songwriting. Uh, <laughs> uh, so um, it, I, I don't think there's been a day that, that's gone by where I haven't played a John Prine song. At first, I played a lot of the, the stuff that we all love, you know, souvenirs. And I played Angel from Montgomery. And I played it. That's the way the world goes around and Sweet Revenge. But uh, recently, the one that I've been playing a lot is uh, off of actually his last album, The Tree of Forgiveness, which is such a, a beautiful album. Uh, so here's a song from that album. I'll send this out to Gigi because it reminds me so much of Boyasco there at the end of summer for us. And uh, uh, <laughs> my friend Gerald, who I was talking to a couple weeks ago, and he was talking about uh, my music and I said I think the slogan of boy with rocket should be he's trying so hard and he said I think that comes across in the name so here you go Gigi <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying so hard <laughs> it's called summer's in summer's in came round the bend splash Swimming suits are on the line Just drive Yeah, I will meet you there For our conversation Hope I didn't ruin your whole vacation And you never know how far from home you're feeling Until you watch those shadows cross the ceiling Well, I don't know but I can tell it's snowing In your car, the windows are wide open Come on home, come on home You don't have to be alone Won't you come on home? Valentine's breaks hearts and minds Random That old Easter egg ain't got a leg to stand on Well, it's clear to see You can win for trying And New Year's Day is about to see you crying Come on home Come on home you don't have to be alone Come on home Well, 
the moon and stars hang out in bars just talking and I still love that picture of us walking just like that old house we used to think was haunted the summer's in came faster than we wanted won't you come on home come on home you don't have to be alone come on home won't you come on home you don't have to be alone so come on home a beautiful song. John Prine. <laughs> the whole discography. Just amazing. Here's a song about being emotionally vulnerable, but practically invisible. Um, I hope you like it. You don't know my name. We talk all the time, just the same. You don't know my name, and you stare right through me. Your eyes might be open, they don't see. No, you. Stare right through me. Now it's hard for me to stand out. Fade in the margins, get lost in a crowd. No, it's hard for me to stand out. Ghosts and haunts, specters and spooks, do they even exist? If nobody looks, if I told you I loved you, could you even hear it? I guess I'll just be here in spirit. Ghosts gotta be pretty bored Just floating around Being ignored Yes, ghosts gotta be pretty bored My heart's like a haunted house Makes all kinds of noises I can't figure out Oh, my heart's like a haunted house Ghosts and spirits Specters and demons Are they even there? Nobody sees them If I told you I loved you could you even hear it? Guess I'll just be here in spirit. It's a song called Here in Spirit that I wrote last week, two weeks ago, something like that. I don't know if you're doing this where you sometimes get this creative burst of energy that happens while you're socially distancing, isolating, and being home alone. Uh, but it happens to me and suddenly I'll be like, ah, and I'll just go nuts and write a bunch of songs. Um, and then I can't think of anything else to do. <laughs> um, here's, a, here's a song I wrote for my niece, the cutest girl in the world, I think, inarguably. I know I, there are probably some people that are gonna argue with that with me, but. Uh, just an adorable little girl. Her name is Abigail, and um, for my mother's second Mother's Day as a grandmother, 
I wrote her a song called, well, so Abby's nickname for my mom is Abby Sunshine. And I was trying to write a lullaby for Abby, but she's such a high energy girl. She's got so much going on. I ended up writing like a wake up song for her. Uh, so it didn't really fit in the um, album of lullabies that I, that I just put out. It's more of a like, let's get up and mix it up uh, and do some stuff song. And so I, I messed that up. Also the recording that I had of it, it was during that time uh, where I was messing around with drums and trying to do multiple tracks of recording. And it is a hot mess of a track. I'm embarrassed that it exists. I hope my mom never leaks it. I tried, I tried, I tried to sing harmony with myself um, when I was recording it. And if you go back and listen to it, I'm singing the same notes. So when, <laughs> I'm cracking myself up with this. When it gets to the chorus, it's not someone singing harmony, it's someone singing exactly the same thing. So it's just really loud. So anyway, here's a better version of that. It is a song called Abby Sunshine. It is for Abigail Crank. I love you so much, Abby. Abby Sunshine, wake up. The morning fog has cleared up. It's time to rub your eyes. I know you've been dreaming, but it's morning and what that means is we're already hours behind. It's up to you right now. Tell me the where and the when and the how. We'll plan this day away. Maybe a fancy story or some cookies, cake, and tea. Cause it's you and me today. It's clear and in your smile. You make the rain stop for a while. Or you fill this day with fun So many days ahead of us See them spin like the wheels on a bus Abbey Sunshine You're the one Won't it be so nice When we go and fly a kite And waste this day away Happy sunshine, look up, all the clouds have cleared up, they know it's you and me today. It's clear and in your smile, you make the rain stop for a while, and you fill my days with fun. So many days ahead of us, see them spin like the wheels on a bus. Happy sunshine, you're the one. Well, now the sun has left us alone, the sky is gray, it's time to go home. You'll remember this all in your head. Abby, we'll do it all again, I'll see you in the morning. But now it's time for bed. Clear and in your smile, you make the rain stop for a while, fill my days with fun. So many days ahead of us, see them spin like the wheels on a bus, happy sunshine. You're the one. Love you, Abby. That's for Abby, Abby Sunshine. I, the first version of this, I'm actually glad it doesn't exist because I think I wholesale ripped off Sesame Street uh, with the opening chords to their theme song. So please don't sue me, Sesame Street, if you've heard that somewhere out there. Uh, Abby Sunshine was uh, uh, the first song I'd written for kids. And then I sort of got on a kick for that because there are a lot of kids in Jeff in my life that we love so much. and. So I started writing lullabies for them, and so that's sort of what tonight is about, uh, is uh, celebrating those. Um, listen, probably a good time to stop and say, again, if you're liking what you're hearing, you can Venmo or PayPal me at a Cranky Prof, that's capital A, capital C, capital P, 
whatever you give me is going to go right back and be matched and go to the graduate student fund to help them uh, survive this this pandemic which is just nuts so please if you can uh donate uh and if not you know buy my buy my stuff on itunes that's going to be another way to do it um and check me out on spotify if you can oh this milk is so warm hey i'm going to play you two songs i wrote during the height of the coronavirus that's that's a great lead-in right there who doesn't want to hear two songs written during the coronavirus um this first song i actually have recorded uh before working on an album that's going to come out at the end of the year that's just self-titled and has about 10 or 11 songs and this was the first song I think I kind of wrote for it that was new, but I got to record it for my cousin, my beautiful cousin Anne's uh, cancer, uh, the uh, cancer fundraiser that she did for the Cancer Society, American Cancer Society there in Missouri. I got to record it. Um, this this one goes out to Linda Angel, Grandma Angel. I think she's been with me through all the songs that I've written, and I'm pretty sure this is her favorite song I've ever written before. So. This is for you. I hope you like it as much as you did the first time I sang. This is called Low. And I, it's pretty self explanatory. Well, it's a new spring day that feels like winter. Wondering what I'll have for dinner. It's a silly thing I know to think about. Some days it's how it goes. Rather right? sit around and count your toes and think about something you can't figure out. Every day I just get older. The sun is out, but it feels much colder. I find myself just staring at the door. Sometimes good luck's a curse, and the higher up, the more it hurts when you find yourself just wiped out on the floor. Do not ask me how I'm feeling, cause you already know. My eyes are on the ceiling, but I don't think I ever felt so low. grows cold and bitter when I wonder when I'll see you again. I think it's gonna be a little while. And I don't know how long it lasts and walk real slow, jog real fast, cause one more step feels longer than a mile. Do not ask me how I'm feeling, cause you are stuff i also don't know if you are doing these things where you're being creative or you're trying to journal or whatever oh i should mention i have had to put this ipad way back so from before i could kind of see when people were doing things i can't see anything right now also i'm very old so i have glasses on but i don't know what's happening right now and i can't even see how many people are here so i could just be singing for jeff which honestly is what i've been doing for the last probably nine days so Hi, Jeff. You can come back in the living room soon. Um, I don't know if you've been journaling or if you're trying to be creative with um, the coronavirus and writing stuff. One of the things I found that's true is when I write songs <laughs> about how I'm doing with the coronavirus, there's a death of literalism. Like I'll try and write something that's really pretty and, and sort of poetic and, and, like, and I'll be like, hmm. I'm depressed and I'm tired, but I don't know why. And it's just like, 
me talking over guitar uh, lyrics or guitar music. So, so here's one of those songs. It's a song called Heat Lightning, and I hope that you like its literalism. Summer time is here, but the living is hard. I go for a walk, end up lost in my backyard. And if I had a nickel for the time I waste, I would have enough money to drive us both to outer space. Doing good. Just to remember my name It's like nothing ever changes Nothing stays the same And my mind's a junkyard dog It just roams where it pleases These days are a puzzle And I'm missing lots of pieces It's like he it's how I feel. It's like he 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 lightning. It isn't real. Something that flashes through you and disappears just like he. I was playing that song for Jeff a couple of uh, times and I don't know I finished it and I was like do, do people that don't live in the south know what heat lightning is because I just sort of took that for granted and he was like they can google it but I think I have recently learned that heat lightning exists pretty much anywhere so I I think I think we're all on the same page I think we're all I think we're all together I'm having fun this is great thank you so much for for coming in um, and hanging out with me again, Spotify, iTunes, you can 
Venmo me and I'll donate that to graduate students. Thank you so much for, for hanging out. Please, um, please check me out on Spotify. As I understand it, it, once you're in the matrix of Spotify, the more people that follow you, the more people that follow you. It's a very strange phenomenon. Hey, so Todd Snyder has been doing this show from the Purple Building uh, on uh, YouTube every Sunday, and it's just been giving me life. Um, he's just singing his songs and um, hanging out and telling stories, and uh, I thought I'd do a Todd Snyder song for you guys now that makes me feel good. Every time I hear it, every time I play it, every time uh, it comes on, uh, this is a, a song uh, that always makes me feel better. And I think we could use that right now during this hot mess of a, of a May that we're all going through. I'm a little loud, please. I'm a little loud, too. I'm so lost in space, chasing Climbing the walls of hurricane, still overall, I can't complain. All I wanted was a warm chance to let freedom ring. I said I'd have to get a permit, tags everything. I never made it through the red tape, I got this paper hat. Got a job working weekdays. You want fries with that? I got nothing to lose. There's nothing to gain. It's like a one way ticket to cruise in the passing lane. I can't complain. I was talking to Maddie. I told her I was stressed. I said I'm going off the deep end She said give it a rest We're all waiting in the dugout Hoping we can pitch How you going through a shutout If all you do is bitch You got nothing to lose There's nothing to gain It's like a one way ticket to cruise In the passing lane I can't complain I got a brand new dance. I need one more shot. I'm gonna give it my own now. Everything that I got. I'm gonna make my last stand. It's time I can't be bought. Then again, on the other hand, how much have you got? I got nothing to lose. There's nothing to gain. It's just a one way ticket to cruise in the passing lane. Hey, I can't complain. Little loud place, little loud tune. I'm so lost in space, I am chasing the moon. Climbing the walls of a hurricane. Still overall, I can't complain. It's such a good song. I mean, sometimes you, sometimes as a songwriter in Scare Quotes, you listen to something like that and you're like, well, I'm going to pack it up. That was, this is a good, this is a good time for everybody. Um, so I'm going to start to calm us down. I'm going to start to move into the good night portion. Only, you know, four or five songs left. I'm going to start to, I want you guys to, you know, get into a very calm, mellow mood. I want you ready for bed. I don't want to rile you up. So here's the first lullaby I ever wrote. Um, I didn't write it for a kid at the time. I was in my early 20s. And so um, I like to, I like to read these things on Reddit where it's the scary, weird things that kids say to their parents right before they go to bed. Like, goodbye, mom. And then the mom's like, no, we say goodnight. He's, and then the kid is like, yeah, but tonight it's goodbye. You know, stuff like that. I'm really into that. And one of, and one of the things I was thinking about when I was writing this lullaby is like, a lot of the things that we read to kids and we the stories that we tell kids are really dark. The nursery rhymes, like the Grimm's fairy tales, all that stuff. And so I was like, hey, I can write a lullaby for kids 
that plays on that darkness. And, and what if I also added my abandonment issues into that? That would make a pretty great song to go to bed. And here it is. It's called All Fingers, sorry. Jack went out looking on Lonesome Hill But he's been gone forever so I guess he's out there still And I feel so broken I'm talking in my sleep I'm tearing myself open so I'm missing all my sheep I'm just a blue boy with the bugle loud as lead Swallowing my insects so things that no one said Don't drink too much tonight And stare at where you are If home is where we make it We never have to go far We'll just stay where we are We will stay Children are resilient Bones are made to break They heal themselves nightly Right before they wake And I am all fingers Waiting to get dropped If your voice is a cradle Then the cradle will rock Don't dream too much tonight And stare at where you are If home is where we make it We never have to go far We'll stay where we are We will just stay Someone left a baby Someone left a baby Someone left a baby Nothing like a very happy song about child abandonment. Now go to sleep. Uh, no, okay, just four more songs here and we're all gonna, we're gonna sleep really good tonight. I, I feel like uh, I'm gonna tuck you in really, really tightly. Uh, this next song is a song I wrote recently. Uh, listen, uh, I work at a university deep in the coronavirus pandemic. An administrator sent me an email. I had missed a deadline about something that I can't remember right now. And the note that this person sent me was so passive aggressive and mean uh, about the deadline that I missed where they were like, I know, in, in Southern passive aggressive, you know, where it's like, we, we can't get aggressive aggressive. We're just gonna get Southern passive aggressive. It's like, Bless your heart, I know that you're not gifted in this, whatever. So, I, you know, I went running, and in my mind, I started to write this really nasty response to this person, just, you know, being like, also passive-aggressive, where it was like, hey, thank you so much for your concern during this difficult time when everything is going nuts. I, anyway, I wrote a great email in my, in my head. I came home, you know, changed clothes, because it's the South, so you have to change clothes after that because you're soaked. And I sat down to write my email and I wrote, thanks for the reminder, and sent it. And so this song came about basically from that with a couple other people in my life. I, if you have these people where you're just like, I'm thinking about things I want to tell you, but you're not worth it. So here's a song called Letters I Won't Send. 
Go on and stand there Make up an excuse For her, for God's sake Don't tell me the truth I won't hear it I can't stand it the Things that you told me Were just made believe And I would rather be lonely Live inside your dreams I can't stand it It's not how I planned it But sometimes I wonder how you've been in my mind I'm writing letters I won't send It's a crooked waste of time I'm writing letters to you in my mind So go on and stand there Make up your excuse Cause you who could never Tell me That's a big middle finger if ever. You don't need those people in your life. That's what you need to hear before you go to sleep. You don't need those people. Forget those people. Hey, this next song is on that EP Hush that's on Spotify right now on iHeartRadio, Deezer, YouTube, other things that I've never heard of until I Amazon Music. This is a song I wrote for our godson, um, Arlo, just the, the greatest kid. Um, the most super kid uh, in the world. Uh, at the time I wrote it for him, I think he was three. Uh, he was just turning four. His birthday's around Christmas, so it was a sort of dual Christmas birthday present. He's now six and just the most rad kid ever. Um, at the time, I think this is true now, he was really into space. He was really into planets and stars. And so I, I made sure that I would incorporate that into um, the, the song that I wanted to write for him. And... Um, when I recorded it, you can hear this on on the recording. I used uh, his xylophone uh, to uh, do the solo of it, uh, which was really difficult because it was made for children's fingers, the, both the mallets and also the the very small little things. So it was really difficult to do that. So um, anyway, he's just the light of our life. We love we love this kid so much. So I wanted to I wanted him to have something special. Uh, this is a lullaby like the one that I wrote for Joshua that has two names. Uh, Joshua's is It's Not Good Night. This one is called um, Tonight. But the real name of it is Arlo's Lullaby. And I always take a deep breath when I play this with, with Jeff. You know, I do all these rehearsals with Jeff because, you know, Arlo is the easiest kid to love. He's the easiest kid to take care of. He's just the most easygoing easy kid ever. And I don't know why I made his lullaby so difficult to play. Was it 
the cold outside Pull the blanket up I'm gonna tuck you in I'm gonna wrap you up tonight And I can see you blinking I can hear you sigh I know how hard you're working To stay up tonight Little boy We'll go to sleep under an ocean of stars And when you row home again You'll be in my arms tonight the Milky Way, grab a comet's nose, find Saturn's rings, and wrap them round your toes, see the darkness blinking through the pinpoint lights, know that I'm not leaving, gonna stay right here tonight, little boy, you will go to sleep. Under an ocean of stars And when you row home again You'll be in my arms tonight Was it cold outside? Pull the blanket up, gonna tuck you in, gonna wrap you up tonight. Okay, I played that song better than I have played it since I wrote it. Um, so that's a, that's a minor victory for me. I can remember writing this, I was in Austin, and I was thinking that I was gonna give it to him for his birthday and for Christmas, and I was like, ooh, it's gonna be really cold outside. So I can remember like starting to write the song and sweating on my guitar being like, is it cold outside? And I was like, it's, it's, actually, it's actually not, it's, it's very, very hot. So I love you, Arlo, uh, uh, big, big love to Arlo. Hey, there are, so I, I've only got two more songs. One of them is, I've been, I love uh, lullabies. Lullabies are one of my favorite things in the world. And um, I really wanted to write like the perfect lullaby and uh, unfortunately, two people had already beat me to it. Uh, one was uh, Paul Simon and that beautiful lullaby, St. Judy's Comet, which I think is probably the greatest lullaby ever written. And then the other one is this one, uh, written by James Taylor. And, and just as a side, when I first started learning guitar, I was like, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll just learn all of James Taylor's songs. They gotta be so easy. They just sound so easy. He's like, it just sounds effortless. And then I started looking up all the songs and they were like, G diminished fourth, add seven. And I was like, oh, never mind. I can't play any James Taylor songs. So thank God for Tom Petty, or I may have given up the guitar altogether. But anyway, here's one of, here's one of the greatest lullabies, inarguably one of the greatest lullabies ever written. Well, the sun is surely sinking down The moon is slowly rising So this old world must still be spinning round I still love you So close your eyes you can close your eyes, it's all right. I don't know no love songs and I can't sing the blues anymore. I can sing this song. You can sing this song when I'm gone. long before it's another day we're gonna have a good time no one 
No one's gonna take that time away You can stay as long as you like So close your eyes You can close your eyes, it's alright I don't know no love songs I can't sing the blues anymore I can sing this song you can sing this song when I'm gone. Okay, that's 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 one of the greatest little bites I've written. Hey, thanks so much for hanging out with me. This is my last song. It's the title song of. Uh, the EP called, it's my favorite, I think it's my favorite word in the English language, it's Hush. And uh, it's the title song of the EP, it's the last song on the EP. I hope you've had a really good time. I wish, I wish very much that we could all be together and um, just be hanging out, you know, slumber party or not, I, and you know, I, I can't see everybody that's here, but anyone that's here, I miss you guys so much and I love you so much. Um, if you get a chance, you want to give me some, some uh, a tip, I will uh, make sure that's matched and sent to the graduate students here at UA. That's the Venmo and PayPal, same name, a cranky prop, capital A, capital C, capital P. Um, or you can buy my stuff on iTunes or Amazon or anywhere that, that you can buy stuff. But this is the last song. Um, it's inspired partly by Arlo because um, this might be apocryphal at this point, but I feel like we were reading Goodnight Moon or something, and um, I was tucking him in, and he said, uh, you know, I was saying Goodnight Moon, Goodnight Blah, Goodnight Blah, and he said, we're, why are we? Why come we're always saying Goodnight? So here's Hush. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Sleep until 
The story's done. Dawn breaks. Morning's come. Your way. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. That is the end of this set. Everybody brush your teeth, say your prayers, and I will see you hopefully soon. God, I don't know. <laughs> don't know when I'll see you. We're trying to coax Maddie out so she can come here and be the big uh, finale, but in case she doesn't, my bear Fornia will say goodnight to you. Man. Um, Again, Venmo, uh, PayPal, at a cranky prof, um, also iTunes, any of that stuff. All that money doesn't go to me. It goes to, it goes to, come here, girl, come here. Your public is waiting. Your public is waiting. Come here, come here. Oh my goodness, look, look who it is. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, what is this? There, down, Maddie, say goodnight. Everybody can go to sleep. Okay, I love you guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.